cool. Just got in my hotel room, and I've got my new FLIR E95, and we're going to do a real unboxing. Okay, just to preface this, um, it's a little bit of a bias unboxing. Uh, my company, I do sell FLIR cameras, but I'm not paid by FLIR for this, and <clears throat> I think that's going to be really cool. This is a camera that um, has some really neat features I'm looking forward to, but I'm going to show you what it, what you get when you get the camera. Okay, so first, comes in its first box, and we've got some nice little packing, and then there's another box. Wow! This one gives me all my serial number. Tells me caution. Then comes the camera in a standard FLIR box. When we pop open the camera, we see we get our camera, two batteries, a charger, and a whole bunch of stuff here. And we will look a little closer at what all this stuff is. But initial take the camera out and there's one way that the batteries go we will stick a battery in there there's a nice protective cover over this that I'm going to take off camera goes through start doing its startup no SD card in it Initially, um, I'll have to say this camera has a little bit more of the top heaviness that FLIR had kind of gone away with, um, but it's nothing that's going to be tiring to the hand. Okay, <clears throat> initially when the camera comes up, it asks you what language. I can just touch the screen and hit next. Um, ask me for my date format. I like day, day, month, month. No, no, no. Month, month, day, day, year, year. That's what we're used to. Or what I'm used to, so we'll do that. I like the 24-hour calendar. My date is not January 4th of 2017. It is April 3rd. I have to know what date it is. Yes, April 3rd. So all I have to do is touch it, and it goes to the next screen. And we are in negative central standard time. There. And our present time is... Doesn't want to, oh, there it does. Easily slide, touch it, 1947, whoa. 1947. All done, camera's ready to go. Now they give you a warning to go here and register your camera. Okay, so if I go, to this website that's on the camera it asks me for my login information and then once I type that in it tells me okay ask me for my serial number then I can go back to the camera so I type in the serial number then I validate then it goes through ask me to plug in all my information about what it is that I'm going to use the camera for. Then it goes through, asks me all these different options of what I'm going to use the camera for. I'm going to just say that for now. Then it asks me this information. Register the product. And it gave me the code. Plug my little code in. I hit register and it says done. And it also sent me an email at that same time as well. Now immediately when I start up the camera, 
we can see that we turn it on and of course it's out of focus but what I will do is go through some of the operations of this camera and play around using it a little bit and then we will come back give you a full review of the camera back we're gonna put the camera away here and I am going to break out what comes in the box box fits in there nice and tight when you take that out you get a pretty good size hole inside the box you get an initial thank you from the general manager of the instruments Rick Linval gives me my camera calibration certification a quick getting started guide in many different languages it tells you what each of the pieces on the camera are and a little bit how to start up you can gives you a link to download the manual and you can either scan it on your phone or tablet and then gives you some a little bit about how to download the software about some of the apps that work on phones and tablets. Uh, a little bit more about the quick start guide, how to start the camera. A little bit about training, things to keep in mind about the camera. So it's kind of a, just a quick little how to use it. There is also a USB-C to USB-C cable. That's one thing on the top of this camera. Uh, they now have gone to, you have your SD card goes in there and your USB-C can go in there. When we go into these other boxes, um, here we have a USB-C to S, or no, no, to HDMI. So you can plug into a monitor or a computer USB-C to regular USB cable. We have our 8 gig SD card. We'll put that in. Then I believe this is, yes, this is all the connections to These are all different connections for going all different places. Most of those I will never use because I pretty well stay in the United States. And then you have your USB-C charger so you can charge the camera directly. Then in this other box, there is the connector that connects to the charger. Now, one thing I will say initially is, why do you make them different? Why not make this to charge off the USB-C cord so you don't have to carry around two chargers? Makes no sense to me. Why manufacturers do those kinds of things. Love you, Fleer. I'm not sure who in engineering thought of that, though. That's pretty much everything that comes in your camera. Oh, hey, there's also one up here. I missed that one. There's one that was up here in this part. So let's see what is in that box. And when we open that box, we get all kinds of goodies. Holy cow. We have a better cover for the front of our camera that will connect in the bottom of the hole. We 
have a... Aha! This is for the back. When you take off, if you see here, that little line that's lined up, if I move that, I can remove the lens and put this on the back side of my lens, if I can line it up right, and then this on the front side of my lens, and I can store that in the storage bay on the case if I have other lenses. Now the other lenses I'm waiting on for my camera, I have a wide angle lens and a two times zoom lens that I am waiting on to get. Got to turn it around the right way. I did have it on the right way. Okay. Fit it in there. Actually fit in pretty easily. Got to make sure you line it up so that those pins line up with those pins. And it'll fit in all the way. Careful not to touch your lens like I did there. And then you go counterclockwise. Until my lens clicks in. I haven't quite got it to do that right. There. There. Now we're all back in. There's some other really cool things. Um, I'll have to read in the quick start manual, but here is a strap that goes around here so I can fit it onto my hand. There's a little cord here. I'm not sure what these little cords are for. We have some screws. These must be the screws. Hmm, this is... Haha! It's all kind of coming together. This will fit onto here so that then Not sure where the screws are. I'll find those somewhere. There they are. The screws are in that box. So it gives you all the parts so that you can then have a strap on here for your hand. And then here you've got your cover that goes there and it mates over. into the hole so that you can always keep your lens cover with you. It just flips down out of the way. That's pretty cool. I will put all those other straps on and we should be set. Put the charger batteries on the charger tonight. Now one thing I want to say is when you go to take the batteries off, if you notice there's some rippling here and rippling here, squeeze those in and the battery comes right out. If you try to pull here, it's not going to come out. It comes out nice and easily. Squeeze those in and boom. You're good to go. And there we are. Hope you like the unboxing, and we will give you a full review of the camera here soon. Okay, want to make a quick note. One thing you want to make sure you do is read the manual. The operation of the camera, a little easier than a simple thing like the strap. Okay, so I thought, well, there's a loop on this strap, so I'm going to go ahead and fit it into the little latch. Nope, nope, nope. It's not how you do it. The loop goes right way, down through, comes back up, and then there is a little loop on here that goes into this portion of the strap. Voila! Then 
you got to use this little screw. It is a, uh, I think a T25. Um, to screw in those little screws. So be careful. And you lay it in like this. And it will fit right in there. Very nicely. Right in and then the let me show you on this side. See there's a little notch in there? A little notch on this will fit in that little notch. And then we just gotta screw it down. Want to make sure you get your strap out of the way so that you can get it to fit down completely. And boom! It's on. Then this side, I will use and put a lanyard on so I can hook it to my belt. Cool. Batteries are charging. We're getting ready for our training tomorrow.